good morning dear students of standard 2 and 3 we have done addition now we will be dealing with the second operation that is subtraction now what is subtraction subtraction means to take away something from a group or number of things to take away from a group or a number of things here is a group of five trees one 2 3 4 5 a group of 5 trees here 5 minus 3 equals to 2 that means from this group of 5 trees we are taking it 3 three trees 1 2 3 we are taking these 3 three trees away okay we are taking this away what is left we are left with the 2 trees the path that is left after subtraction is called the difference that means after subtraction is done that is 5 minus 3 is done the answer we get is 2 and 2 is what it is the difference when we subtract what is left in the group becomes less when we subtract whatever is left it becomes less earlier it was a group of 5 trees now it is left only with 1 and 2 two trees subtraction has three parts The first part is minuend second part is subtrahend or you can say the part that is taken away it is subtrahend here three is subtrahend we are taking three trees trees away from the group of five trees and the part that is left after subtraction is difference so here in this particular sum we can say 5 minus 3 equals to 2 here 5 is minuend 3 is subtrahend and 2 is the difference now the sign of subtraction is this and we read this sign as minus it is a latin word which means less now here are some subtraction facts like number 1 when we subtract 0 from a number the value of the number does not change it remains the same like example if we subtract 0 from 9 the value does not change the number is itself like 9 425 minus 0 again gives the same number that is 425 it does not change number 2 when we subtract a number from itself the number the answer we get is always 0 like if we subtract 9 from 9 we get 0 when we subtract 425 with 425 we get 0 third when we subtract 1 from a number we get the answer just before it that means if we have 9 and if we subtract 1 from 9 we get the number just before it what comes before 9 8 so here is the answer one less than the number like 425 if we subtract 1 from 425 we get 424 you can also say this 8 is the predecessor of 9 424 is the predecessor of 425 now here are some sums that we will be doing subtract 48 from 53 now these are the two numbers 48 and 53 first on top we have to write the bigger number here 53 is the biggest you cannot subtract a bigger number from the smaller number you always have to write the bigger number on top so we'll write 53 first and then we will write 48 be very careful you have to maintain the columns ones and tens 53 minus 48 now here in this particular sum you cannot subtract 8 from 3 as 8 is bigger than 3 what you will do you will borrow 1 tens from 5 from here we will borrow 1 and it becomes then 13 right and 5 will become 4 now 13 minus 8 9 10 11 12 13 that means 5 and 4 minus 4 is 0 so here the answer that we are getting is 5 next 
subtract 148 from 399. So here 399 is the bigger number. So we will write 399 on top followed by the number 148. Now you can easily subtract 8 from 9 as 9 is the bigger number. Here we will get 1. Here 4 minus 9 you can get you will get 5 then 1 minus 3 you will get 2. So here the answer is 251. Third sum subtract 399 from 500. Here 500 is the bigger number so we will write here 500 minus 399. Now 0 is obviously small in value and 9 is bigger. You cannot subtract 9 from 0. What you will do? You will borrow from the tens place. But here also in tens place we have 0. So even this 0 will going to borrow from hundreds place. So here 500 will give 100 to tens. Like this. And this will become 4. Now here it is 10. So now this 0 can borrow 1 tens from this. And it will become 9 and this will become 10 okay now 9 minus 10 you will get 1 9 minus 9 is 0 4 minus 3 is 1 clear children kindly go through the explanation again and again you will be given second part soon thank you